but offering our next president our goodwill and earnest effort to find ways to come together to find the necessary compromises to bridge our differences and help restore our prosperity, defend our security in a dangerous world, and leave our children and grandchildren a stronger, better country than we inherited. Whatever our differences, we are fellow Americans. And please believe me when I say, no association has ever meant more to me than that. It is natural, it's natural tonight to feel some disappointment, but tomorrow we must move beyond it and work together to get our country moving again. We fought, we fought as hard as we could, and though we fell short, the failure is mine, not yours. I am so... I am so deeply grateful to all of you for the great honor of your support and for all you have done for me. I wish the outcome had been different, my friends. The road was a difficult one from the outset, but your support and friendship never wavered. I cannot adequately express how deeply I indebted I am to you. I am especially grateful to my wife, Cindy, my children, my dear mother, <laughs> my dear mother and all my family and to the many old and dear friends who have stood by my side through the many ups and downs of this long campaign I have always been a fortunate man and never more so for the love and encouragement you have given me you know campaigns are often harder on a candidate's family than on the candidate and that's been true in this campaign all I can offer in compensation is my love and gratitude and the promise of more peaceful years ahead. I am also, I am also, of course, very thankful to Governor Sarah Palin, one of the best campaigners I've ever seen. One of the best campaigners I have ever seen, and an impressive new voice in our party for reform and the principles that have always been our greatest strength. Her husband, Todd, and their five beautiful children for their tireless dedication to our cause and the courage and grace they showed in the rough and tumble of a presidential campaign. We can all look forward with great interest to her future service to Alaska, the Republican Party, and our country. To all my campaign comrades, from Rick Davis and Steve Schmidt and Mark Salter, to every last volunteer who fought so hard and valiantly, month after month, in what at times seem to be the most challenged campaign in modern times. Thank you so much. A lost election will never mean more to me than the privilege of your faith and friendship. I don't know, I don't know what more we could have done to try to win this election. I'll leave that to others to determine. Every candidate makes mistakes, and I'm sure I made my share of them. But I won't spend a moment of the future regretting what might have been. This campaign was and will remain the great honor of my life. And my heart is filled with nothing but gratitude for the experience and to the American people for giving me a fair hearing before deciding that Senator Obama and my old friend, Senator Joe Biden, should have the honor of leading us for the next four years. Please, please, I would not, 
I would not be an, an American worthy of the name should I regret a fate that has allowed me the extraordinary privilege of serving this country for a half a century. Today, I was a candidate for the highest office in the country I love so much. And tonight, I remain her servant. That is blessing enough for anyone. And I thank the people of Arizona for it. Tonight, tonight, more than any night, I hold in my heart nothing but love for this country and for all its citizens. Whether they supported me or Senator Obama, whether they supported me or Senator Obama, I wish Godspeed to the man who was my former opponent and will be my president. And I call on all Americans, as I have often in this campaign, to not despair of our present difficulties, but to believe always in the promise and greatness of America, because nothing is inevitable here. Americans never quit. We never surrender. We never hide from history. We make history. Thank you, and God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you all very much. Senator John McCain in defeat, conceding the race, congratulating Senator Obama as he spoke to his supporters in Arizona tonight, promising to work with Senator Obama as he will now lead the country. Uh, President Bush tonight has been watching what's been going on. We have pictures from outside the White House where a crowd has gathered. This is quite interesting. As somebody who's covered the White House for eight years, I don't know that I've recalled. Uh, a crowd this large outside the White House. The president uh, spoke to the president-elect, Mr. Obama, and said to him, quote, Mr. President-elect, congratulations to you. What an awesome night for you, your family, and your supporters. Laura and I called to congratulate you and your good bride. I promise to make this a smooth transition. You are about to go on one of the great journeys of your life. Congratulations and go enjoy yourself. According to Press Secretary Dana Perino, the president invited the president-elect to the White House in short order. No doubt that will happen. As we, as we look at the pictures from Grant Park again, if we can do that in downtown Chicago, some amazing numbers. 60,000 have gathered inside the park itself. And we're told by those who are estimating the crowd, 100,000 beyond uh, the gates or the confines of, of Grant Park itself. So we will, we will hear from Senator Obama later. Congressman John Lewis is, uh, is joining us once again. Keith? So, go ahead, David. I, okay. I, I, I did want, well, let me ask Congressman Lewis this question because I think, I think he can speak appropriately to this. Uh, despite some of the reactions in that in in that crowd congressman I thought that was an extraordinarily gracious and important speech for Senator McCain to make given the unique nature of this election would you agree I, I agree it was a wonderful and appropriate statement on the part of Senator McCain it uh, he said all of the right words and I believe he said those words are from the depth of his heart.